Hello, hello, my YouTube family. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to do this quick video as it appears we have a lot of new members in our community. So I've been seeing a lot of comments about how to apply and so forth. So as a reminder, Housing Connect 2.0 is one of the platform that we speak on on this um one of the websites rather we speak on on this platform so here's a quick reminder or if you're new to the process here's the first step for you to get on housing connect so you just do a google search as you could see housing connect is there you could type in housing connect or you could type in housing connect 2.0 pretty much brings you here to the Housing Connect website. So if you have never been on the website, you need to register, right? You just simply go here and click register and you'll need to follow the steps to sign up. If you have been on this platform before, but you haven't been on in a while, I suggest that you log in and ensure that your information is updated. So if your household composition change, you need to add all the new household members. If your income change, you need to add your income, etc. Right, so after you do all of that, then you go to the fun part, the open lotteries. So the open lotteries will show you all the available rental units. So you see you have rentals and sales. On this channel, we focus on the rental right so oftentimes a lot of people say oh i don't know what i qualify for or i don't know you know which buildings to apply for my income is this i'm only seeing that here's the thing that i spoke about before you know as you can see it's about three pages yep three pages of lotteries open lotteries these are all in different boroughs um these are all different income brackets as a reminder, this website, Housing Connect 2.0, is for low, middle, and moderate income. So you are going to see some units, right, with the income brackets that's way higher. And I don't want that to be the first thing that you see. And then you're like, how is this affordable, right? So the easiest way, as I always say, to do this is to go to refine search. Even if you don't put in all of this information, what's important is that you put in your income right here, your total household income. And as a reminder, this is the income that's being earned in the household. So if it's two adults and both adults are working, you need to combine the income. It's not picking whose income to put. If it's just you, you put your income. So it's important, for example, you put your income, say we're gonna put $34,000, right? And if you wanna put how many um, people are in your household, you could put that as well, right? Again, if you're specific in where you want to live, you could use this filter. If you're open, you could just leave it to any. But the best way to do this or the, the most important filter that you need to enter is your income. Because you want to be taken to exactly what you qualify for. I don't want you earning say $34,000 and then you're just browsing through everything and then you see these income tiers for a hundred thousand a hundred and fifty thousand and you're like how is this affordable and you get frustrated and you get off the site that's not what I want so please refine your search and at least enter your household income right once you go to search then it will bring up all the buildings all the open lotteries that have an income tier for um, someone with $34,000 to qualify for. So this is going to show you exactly what you qualify for, right? So then you could go and view the details and further refine your search. So we did the example of the two people household, right? So you can see that with two people, they would still be eligible for this income, this um, AMI rather, right? So that is the best way to do it. So that way you're not going on a 
wild chase and not see what you're eligible for and then you get discouraged and i want you to pay close attention right because if you come to this if you come to this um development so you see here though you're two people with thirty four thousand dollars you wouldn't qualify for this because as you can see the maximum is thirty three thousand nine hundred so you're actually a hundred dollars over the income limit so this is a thirty percent ami so you would not qualify for that ami and that ami for two people it is gonna be the same regardless of the bedroom size right so what you will then do what you'll then do is go to the next you're gonna go to the next um ami to see if you'll qualify for that ami so if you go to this ami you will see that you will see that for this one you would qualify right because the maximum for two people is fifty six thousand five hundred so you are below that bracket and again you would qualify for that so that's why it populated this as an option for you so again please refine your search so that way it could be easier and you don't get frustrated with the process and it literally shows you when these lotteries are closing so for example this one is closing in three days so if you were to get on this you want to make sure you apply as soon as possible but as you can see this one is a senior residence so you would have to meet the criteria to be eligible for that and it shows you all the eligibility criteria okay so i hope this helped um this is just a quick video just to recap in the easiest way to go on the housing connect website to apply if you found this information helpful please leave a comment and let me know if you guys have any questions please leave a comment and let me know and also let me know where you guys are in the process i really want to know where you guys are so i could continue to provide information that will be helpful to where majority is in the process thank you for watching have a great day continue to be of good courage and know that all things will work out in your favor we're believing for you we're standing in the gap for you you're at the right place you are part of the best community and we're here to help each other and we're here to support each other so be of good courage do what you need to do on your end ensure that you're logging into your profile and checking for updates ensure that you're checking your email your spam mail all of that be on top of it and you will see that everything will work out in your favor i know the process can be long at times or it can appear challenging but i assure you once you do your part it makes this process so much easier. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.